Hello. 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 Would you start the questions in the room? No. Okay. And if I see y'all calling it, I'm not doing with you. Okay. <laughs> so, Go ahead. Um, <laughs> first of all, congratulations is supposed to be a great game. That was a phenomenal win. Um, Nas, this question is for you. Um, talk to me about Ryan's leadership on the court and what you saw out of her tonight that you just absolutely loved. Um, she just got a big head and a smart mouth. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, just, like just okay. being, hey, hey, y'all, don't laugh at her. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let they us stop better. playing. Um, it's just been great to see her growth. Um, obviously, we've been here together for three years, and in the first two years, like when things we're going good or bad. She didn't talk as much and she kind of, you know, had a lot to say but kept it to herself. But now she's just been such an open book and giving us exactly what we need. Um, when she doesn't, you know, if she doesn't hit somebody on the pass, she's like, well, that's my bad. Or she's telling me the next steps, um, you know, to a play or seeing and reading what the defense is doing to her because obviously she gets all types of different defenses played on her. Um, but her continuing to talk and know the plays and replay, re, relaying the plays to us, um, it just makes such a big difference um, because we know that she knows what's going on, um, as she always does. I mean, it's part of her job, but she really always knows what's going on. But she just takes that on her shoulders um, because she knows that it's so needed for this team. Um, and I just love to see it, and I can hope it continues to go. Um, and I hope she continues to talk no matter the situation. And just a quick follow-up from me. Ryan, talk to me about what makes Nas so special on the court. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, she talks about, uh, like, a lot about the last two years that I didn't talk much. Well, she always picks it up. Um, you know, no matter the circumstances, we always hear her in the huddle. You know, she's always telling us what she sees from on or off the court. And, you know, just being that energy player that we really need. Um, you know, tonight was a very special night for her because she was doing big things, <laughs> making her layups. Um, but it's just great to have her out there. And, you know, she's always confident in what we as a team can do. And so it just builds everybody else up. Go ahead, Ryan, you guys are clawing back the entire game and you hit that three-pointer to tie it up. Just take us through the moment there and it seemed like it gave you all the momentum you needed for overtime. Definitely gave us some momentum, um, but you know, when I'm shooting, I have to be unconscious because, you know, like I said, the team is looking for me to, you know, be a threat on offense and, you know, look to be aggressive and look to get the shots that, you know, come forth. Um, so it's not a shot that I could have passed up, um, but it definitely was a momentum shifter for us because, you know, everybody was energy was just really, really good. Um, the crowd was feeding into us, and so just since then, we knew that. We didn't call all the way back to, you know, just to call all the way back. Go ahead, Blake. Ron, before the three, um, when Enrique missed the layup and then Santu hit that three and y'all were down 11, uh, what kind of clicked for y'all at that moment? Because, you know, you could have, you know, laid down, but you guys kept fighting. What was it for both of you that wanted y'all to just keep fighting? Um, we've been in this position a lot of times before and, you know, haven't had the outcome that we wanted. But every time we've continued to fight, we've stayed positive and, you know, tonight just shows what we're capable of doing and we have to keep this same energy moving forward. Candace, I'm ready to go first. Just around the last two games, you scored 30 points. Tell us, like, what unlocks and this feels like playoff ride. So, what's unlocking? Well, I hope I scored 30 on 26 shots. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Um, I mean, you know, I feel like I'm a player where I don't stay in the slump for too long. Um, eventually, shots are going to start falling, and, you know, things are going to start going for me. Um, you know, it is starting to get to that time. You know, I only have one taste of playoffs, so I'm looking to have more. But I know what it's going to take, and I know what I'm going to have to do to get there and lead my team to get there. I'll take two more for this team. All right, now I've mentioned that you became a more vocal leader over time. Um, and what have allowed you to, to kind of get in that comfort space where you are able to be a more vocal leader? Um, I think just the comfort of being here, um, you know, building relationships over the last three years. You know, we still have our core all together. So we all know how 
how to talk to each other basically and you know what everybody's looking for what everybody's you know trying to hear but you know the coaches are always telling me like you, your voice needs to be heard and so just being able to talk and feel like I have a voice and feel like I'm being listened to it it also plays a big huge part in it thank you um all five starters and double figures just overall how big of a team effort for either one of you how big of a team effort <laughs> Um, I mean, it's it's been it was great to see everybody um, share the ball, and we knew that this was a team that um, if you attack them, they would they would give you some points. Um, so that's exactly what we did. But we did a great job of sharing the ball and finding who was the hot hand, and um, just really trying to to go and spread it out. It's hard, it's hard to guard five people on the floor, and and when everybody's attacking and trying to get to the basket, um, and you know we we talk about it all the time, and specifically Rye, she gets on me about it like. Sometimes I have to take the shots to get her open. Like sometimes I have to attack to get her open because she does ca draw so much attention that a lot of times it is my man doubling her or you know trapping her or whatever it is. So I think we all kind of knew that tonight coming into it. Not just Ryder and you know Leisha as well. That if the other three of us, I mean of course Tina, but if the other if the others were not attacking and going downhill, then it was gonna just cause so much trouble for you know our main scorers. Um, but we knew that going into this game and we wanted to be aggressive. Um, and it just you know once you just get into your rhythm and your feel, it just kind of takes off. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I don't lie. Y'all had some personal.